Hi, this is Debbie with another video tutorial. Um, I try to read all of my comments and answer them as they come along through my YouTube and my blog. So the other day I had this question when I did the pattern letters um, tutorial was how to use a photograph to do pattern letters and crop them. Well, basically it works the same, except of course you don't do a couple of the steps but I know that these types of photos are real popular now people like to take the letters and then they frame them the one thing I can say is that with a photograph of a person it's a lot more difficult you can do it it looks okay but it wouldn't be my thing to try so what I did is Montana is one of my mother's favorite places and I'm not sure if this is Montana or not but it kind of looks like some of the pictures she showed me and it's a Bob Ross landscape um, picture so to demonstrate how to do this I grabbed a hold of this photo and we're going to start out by doing this grabbing our text tool again and of course you want that large font impact so I just start typing it up there and there it is so I have my impact and I'm going to type out Montana yeah, all in caps so there we go and now I want to make this larger so I'm just gonna drag it out to fit over the picture itself and decide where I want my picture to be so I'll start here I'll make it taller just dragging that up there like that and see what we have here so I think getting as much of this photo in as I can that looks pretty good and then I'm going to take the letters I just typed and hold my control key down now I'm on a PC computer not a Mac and then click oops copied the wrong thing but that does show you how to copy so let me just move this over here and I'm going to make a duplicate of this because later on we're going to make uh, I'm going to show you how to make the little frames to go around this so basically all I have to do now is put my picture exactly where I want it to be cropped and definitely want some of those mountains in there I'm kind of eyeballing this so let me move it over a little bit just a tad bit more. I'm going to send this photo to the back so my letters are up front before I do any kind of cropping. So now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to my modify tool here at the top and select crop again. So now I have all of my letters cut out just like the photo. Now over here I'm going to ungroup these and we're going to take the first letter and we're going to go to our offset tool I'm going to hit offset and corner and I'm going to change this to 080 and make sure you remember that number because each letter you're going to do this with there we go and now I can make this a compound path make a compound path and then I'm gonna fill it with my line color I'm gonna make black I'm gonna make my fill color black so this would be another element you could cut out to put on top of these letters that you cut out from the photo just a little frame like and we would do that with all the letters I've already done this ahead of time so I'm going to pop over here and show you and there we go so that would be the photo cut out in the letters with a little frame going around it and I would use one of those little um, glue pins to add this little trim around the letters if that's what you decide to do now I'm going to go over here to my Avalyn kissy face picture 
And what I did is I took a picture of my granddaughter and I took it into Photoshop and I took all the background off. Now I could easily just go ahead and also do an auto trace on this later on and glue this photograph on top of the letter. But we're just going to do one letter and we're going to do the impact again. So I'm going to type up here impact. Takes me right to it. I'm going to do a capital A. I'm going to make this pretty big. Try to get as much of her in there as I can. And I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to select both the letter, hold down my shift key and select the photograph. I'm going to go to the Modify tool, select Crop again, and there we go. And that will fit in there just perfectly to do a little print and cut. I can feel this background here. Um, I did a polka dot. Oh, got to send that back to the back again. Right click, send to back. I'm going to hold down the shift key so I can grab both of these, bring it back over here so you can see it better. And probably what I would do if this were a project is just do the one photograph and then do the other letters in the same size and just spell her name out. But I have a little sample over here. And of course, this is a lot smaller scale, but we can always make it bigger if we want to, but I don't want to distort. And I can ungroup this so I can cut a letter at a time. Send that to back. Group these two. Group. And of course, if you're going to do a print and cut, for most of us, just have our regular printers, so I'd have to change it to letter size also. But that gives you an idea of what you could do with photographs. And as I said, I did a little extra work on this one to get all of the background out. But you can bring in just about any photo and make it your own with the letters. So I hope this has helped explain how you can use photographs and letters in combination. We'll go back to that Bob Rossi one. I'll just delete this out because I think maybe you can see it better this way. And wouldn't that make a nice gift? You get all of these cut out in a photograph and then you put it inside a frame in somebody that loves that area and stuff like my mom loves Montana, she'd love, she'd love something like this. Okay, well you all have a nice crafty day and I'll try to answer and make as many videos I can as I can on the questions that you have. So until next time, bye now.